this Food West Africa exhibition is a unique platform for businessmen and women to showcase their products and services to thousands of decision makers and influencers from across Nigeria and indeed West Africa. This type of platform is clearly an important medium for raising the profile of the sector by capitalizing on the best opportunity to discuss business, share information, discover the latest trends, or launch new products into the market. We'll be talking about the Seed Act, which was just assented to by Mr. President in June this year, and also talking about innovations that we are rolling out you know, to affect the life of Nigerian farmers in that way boosting you know, their productivity in the agricultural sector. If you have good quality seeds and farmers cannot assess it, then you don't have seeds because the essence of having seeds is you know, having it at the disposal of farmers so that they can improve their yield and get greater uh, productivity. Uh, the Seed Council as a regulatory body has oversight over the production, marketing, trade and use of seeds in Nigeria. And we are at the, at the center of the Nigeria seed sector as the principal institution for the implementation of the seed policy in Nigeria. Seeds are the single most important component of agri productivity. We know that if you have the quality seed, the right seed, 50% of your productivity is assured. So section 19 of the Act says a person shall not engage in seed production, processing, marketing, or importation for commercial purposes unless the person is registered under the NASC Act. So if you are doing any form of commercial exchange of planting materials for the Nigerian farmer, you have to be you know, accredited by the Seed Act, and that is the council. So after now, we expect to hear from you. Tell us anywhere you are seeing things you know, going wrong in the seed industry so that we can take action. A lot of uh, export potential is coming for Nigeria in seeds like ginger, uh, crops like um, uh, Avingia gabonensis, a lot of things that people are asking us to produce for them. If we don't have seed standards, it means the people who we plant cannot have quality materials and they cannot get high yielding materials. And we need support of everybody to you know, collectively ask for Nigeria to have a law for plant variety protection. If you look at the geopolitical zone we have in this country, and if you look at the kind of uh, the environment, you discover that some of the crops that can be grown in some of those places we are talking about could be grown here. We are talking of wheat, particularly if you go to the Mambila and some of the states in the north, the northeast, particularly Jigawa, Kano, uh, Taraba, and uh, Bruno and Yobe, you see that it's atmosphere that's very con convenient for growing with. So, and if you look at other geopolitical zones in Nigeria, you see that there are special crops that could be grown, and you discover that at the end of the day, we can even be able with all this and with the kind of people we have and our natural resources, be able to supply some of the things to other parts of this country. When you look at our operations now, they look more international. So it's not just the Nigerian standards. Now we have an opportunity for better exposure and we see what other people are doing and then we try to develop our system to meet international best practices.